You're making one right decision today. You're listening to Handcuffs and Sage. Three badass moms bringing you all the true crime and paranormal your heart desires. I'm Red. I'm Timo. I'm Dre. And don't let your kids listen. Seriously, just don't. And this is Timo. And this is Dre. And this is Rock. Yay! Woo! 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 We're back, baby. This yep. is our down the rabbit hole episode. I'm loving these episodes. I hope everyone is enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying it. Are you guys liking it? I am. I'm learning a whole bunch of new thingies because, you know. New thingies? Okay. Yeah, new thingies. So, like, red did this thing to me last episode because I didn't know what TED Talk was. <laughs> Sorry. So she challenged me to ask 10 people um, if they know what TED Talks is. So I think I did eight people and I did it like when I was totally buzzed, like at 11 o'clock at night, I just start texting like all these people like da 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 da. I think I got half and half. Half people didn't know, half people did. So I felt good. But um, yeah, but you know what? I'm, in my defense, I can ask you a freaking paranormal, a paranormal question, and none of you guys, well, maybe Dre, because Dre's cool, cool with that, but uh, you two, well Rock and Red, I don't think you guys would know what the fuck I was talking about, so it's all right, uh, it's all right. If that's what you got to tell yourself, girl, that's fine. That's Damn. Uh, Project Blue Book? Maybe yeah. Project Blue Book? Yeah, Project Blue Book. Okay, y'all. Um, Let's first talk about our week, because that's what we always do. All right. right. I hope everyone else is having a real fun time, not going anywhere and doing anything like the rest of us, right? Right. Mm -hmm. The real hoop. Um, I I reached my max. I reached my limit. I guess you could say. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I mm -hmm. can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. And then you have life stress, and you just lose your shit. And that's the point I'm at. This has been a really rough week. Does anyone else feel this way? Me too. It I was do. a rough week for me too. Yeah. Rock, like how are you feeling? It's just crap. Yes. It sucks. Uh, on the contrary, I you know what? Um I'm having a good week. My bad week was <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Yeah. You know what? I, Fuck I, you, I'm Rock. The garage door Who down invited there. you? Oh my God. I know. You have to say what's the garage door saying. done. Oh, that's good. That is good. I tried, I'm happy I for your wife. I, I, yeah, we, we're reaching some milestones, things I've been putting off for a long, long, long time. So okay, you know what? That is finally good. Getting a, You're getting to your good. honeydew list, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we neglect our house quite a bit, and we're finally Excellent. getting to it. It's It feels good, and then I'll be broke when we're done, but it'll feel Absolutely. good. Absolutely. <laughs> good. Hey, you know side what? note. Side That's note. awesome. Um, back in the day when I first started my garden, um, yeah. your, your wifey offered up some of your succulents because I guess they're like multiplying. So I might have to take you guys up on that they offer. They are multiplying. Okay, good. I might have to come and take some babies off of you. We got them for days. Cool. Cool. Yeah. We're, cool we're, we're, gonna, we're even about to have a uh, plant sale soon. We got a lot of cactus and arrangements, but I have tons of trimmings, whatever you'd okay. like. Cool. Cool. That's really yeah. nice. Aw, you guys are such little givers. I love it. So, Red <laughs> had some uh, shit go down yesterday at work, and uh, it was really messed up. The company I work for let go 50% of its employees. <gasps> oh, my and gosh. And it was a slaughter, right? I didn't – I had to wait all day before I logged in That's to horrible. see if I still had a job, right? Uh, I still have a job. My hours were cut, but a lot of my friends and half my department is gone. So it's been a very, very emotional day. <clears throat> and like we were saying, you know, a lot of people have been affected um, job wise. And in the same day, I found out my husband no longer has his job. So I'm reeling and I'm glad we're doing the podcast so we can kind of talk about our feelings and kind of get me laughing again because. I have really been in a tailspin, and that's what I do. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm all fun, and then I get into a tailspin. 
I but, know. I, I saw it earlier and I could just see we're on Zoom. We're remotely recording. So we're all on Zoom. So I can actually, we can actually see each other. And I was just like me and Rock and Dre were kind of like talking and talking and Red was just there quiet. And if you know Red, she's never fucking quiet unless there's something up. And I'm like, dude, we need to talk about this because yeah. I, I'm not liking you in the corner over there being sad. Man. So I yeah. sat down. I, I like laid in bed today, which I never do. I'm always go, 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 clean, clean, clean project. And my husband kept checking in saying, what can I do for you? What can I do for oh, you? And so I guy. kind of I been in, in a place. He, he's a, he is a really good husband. So I, I'm glad we're doing this. This is okay. why we do the podcast. For because sure. we yeah. enjoy it. So yes. it's an escape. Yep. It is. It's an escape. So I'm glad that we're doing down the rabbit hole. I'm glad Rock is here. And I really fucking love our subject. Yeah. Awesome. Our subject tonight is MK Ultra. Oh my God. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love everything about it. It was so fun to watch the videos and get, you know, the dish and all these different like offshoots of MK Ultra, things that went down. It's just, it is a, a rabbit hole. It really it is. is. And it Timo, really is. being the paranormal girl, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Like I had to be on our group chat and be like, what is it again? What are we doing? Da, 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 da. I had, yeah, that like, was funny. <laughs> what? Like ultra light beer? What? Like, what are you guys talking about? Like Miller Lite? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I, I didn't know what. So, uh, you know, like I always do, I did the deep dive, I learned, I researched, and I went on a little side jam. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to talk I'm, tonight. I'm yeah. excited yes. to see what yes. you bring, because you always I, look at like, like outside of the box, like we could all be talking about one specific topic and you're like, hey, did you guys hear this? Or like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about, girl? Because <laughs> she like dives in there deep, like, I don't know. You How'd you get so deep? <laughs> He's all the way down the hole. And well, you know, when back in my school days, I was like the research nerd. So now doing the podcast, like, You're first of all, I could, I, could, I could work for the CIA or the FBI, by the way. <laughs> if you need to, to find out something right about now. somebody, I can go into Facebook and find out. Let me tell you what I found this week. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's somebody in my Isn't life right wrong? now. No, oh. there's somebody okay. in my life right now that's just making my life like a total hell. And um, oh, never believe what shit I found, dude. <laughs> I'll, you show you guys mail, I'll, I'll show you guys later. I'll show you guys later. You'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Facebook. You just yeah. give I, I, do this, I do the same thing. So like something will happen. You know that funny meme where it's like, oh yeah, I have a, a new boyfriend, like just met him, blah, blah, blah. And then like your your best friend comes out with this like background history, like <laughs> criminal record bullshit. Hello, that's me right there. That's <laughs> true. Oh, yeah. That is true. And you My come up with it work. fast. Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's why I got dragged. Ones. That's why I got dragged, like watching my back. So, like, I'm gonna be like, "Girl, I met this guy. Tell me what." Yes. yes. All right. I, so one time, Red needed like a phone number to somebody. I'm not gonna mention who it was. And, like two minutes later, guess what? In her in basket, right boom. there. Boom. It was terrifying how quick it came, <laughs> and I knew and she was like scary. Never cost drag. Ever. Okay. I will never talk. Um, Dre, I'm going to give you some information and I'm going to have you oh. do a deep dive and see what yes. you can find out. All right. Yes. Okay. I'm excited. All right. All right uh, so let's we will talk post about that. It. We will post <laughs> the information on our Patreon page. If okay. You, yeah. Patreon. We will. Yeah. Yes. Go, uh -huh. go ahead and, uh, you know, become a patron, support our art. Right. Podcast. Yes. Okay. Support right, us. Sure. Okay. And you can get go. it on the dirt, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, Rock, we're going to start with you. Let's go down this rabbit hole. Yeah, well, did, did you guys have a good time? Did you get some good videos? Uh, you get some good information out there? Yes, 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 yes. Some freaky was, shit, man. I had my mom yeah. watching with me, and she was like, what the fuck is going on with this shit? And I'm like, that's right, mom. <laughs> Leave the room off. Did, did you see any of the Al Roker clips? <gasps> yes. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Yeah. 
definitely not mind control. My wife showed me the first uh, couple, like the just the fun compilation videos of people spacing out for like a good minute, and then they come mm -hmm. back, and and the reporters are like, "Hey, we lost you there. You okay?" And they're like, "Oh no, I'm good." Like I don't know if you saw the Britney Spears one. <laughs> that one's good. She, <laughs> she's talking, talking, and then she's like, "Huh." Ah. <laughs> oh yeah and like for like an obnoxiously 25 seconds before she snapped back but did but, you notice um, how she goes like they're saying that it's like multiple personality disorder not so much mind control because she's like okay serious britney serious of britney and then she came back and she's like and then she started crying it's like Damn. yeah well we all have conversations in our head it's just who actually <laughs> who acts on them and lets them come out of their mouth right like once you get to that point you got to yeah you might need to see a doctor <laughs> oh i feel bad you guys Brittany actually has a mental disorder oh she does yes so is we it didn't multiple? make fun no. is it multiple oh okay mm -hmm. no right. she actually really does struggle with mental illness so. okay okay so <laughs> we, i think we all do i mean i do so i'm not we ashamed know. to say it yeah you're correct it's just that we're not like in the spot when right is, you know oh That's i can't imagine problem. yeah it's like Amanda Bynes. Oh, I feel so yes. sorry. Yes. She yes. Uh, breaks my heart. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that is hard. Let's start how this kind of got started. How, I always think that's a good place to go, right? Yes? Yeah. Well, yeah. So from what I understand, mind control goes back to the early, early ages. I mean, uh, trauma-based mind control started a long time ago, you know, and it goes back to Nazi Germany. Yes, and um, yes. so yeah it, you know the cia um there's there's documents out there admitting what the cia has done with him it's on it's not a make-believe funny story that's correct. So right what, that's what that's what makes it interesting is how um it's out there and it's just mm -hmm. it's not talked about like all the other conspiracies right um i read this book recently um and i i think i forwarded you guys a video but i i heard about this lady on someone else's podcast and so the the fun thing is when you hear other people tell you about books that you've never heard about and then you're like holy shit this right. new batch of information that i never would have came across if so and so didn't let me know so and what's the name I, of the book oh the name of the book is uh trance formation of america mm -hmm. and it's written it's a, it's kind of an autobiography of two people, Mark Phillips and Kathy O'Brien. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, cool. So, okay. Yeah. So Kathy O'Brien, um, I can I'll give you a kind of a quick nutshell and let you guys dive in on on anything you you learned about it. But she was basically came, she came from a long um, <clears throat> generational family abuse, a long history of generational family abuse of mm -hmm. you know sexual abuse and um, verbal abuse her she said that her parents were raped as children by their parents and this had gone on so she would oh, Jesus was, yeah it was in like Tuskegee Michigan where she grew up and um, so from her from the youngest age her father was sexually abusing her and um, it's so so traumatic you know from almost infancy you know I, I don't right. know the exact time but but um, mm -hmm. basically what she goes into is that how such a serious trauma at such a young age on a repeated schedule like that um how it changes your mind and you learn right. to com compartmentalize trauma and certain events in order that you can still get through your life and eat breakfast and take a shower and go to school or what have you so um kathy o'brien is a very well-spoken lady incredibly mm -hmm. smart and and full of information for someone who has had a history of abuse but um, her, her dad basically groomed her into a young prostitute that, was, mm -hmm. that he then pimped out to um, governors, senators, mm. prime ministers, big names, um, mm. anyone from Dick Cheney to Gerald Ford to Justin Trudeau's father, the prime minister of Canada back in the day. So and sad. She, oh, she, my God. You know, this, it, it just when you read a book that has so much detailed information and if you piece it all together, you can never make a puzzle to say smear someone. So you can rule out that this book is not just like an attack on, say, a certain group or a certain person. This is just a book, an auto, uh, you know, a biography, autobiography on her life and what the dark 
forces in our government are capable of doing and not really the dark forces of the government just all the bad actors who have power and there's so mm-hmm. many of them and we we all know that um but it's like to what extent do these people you know um let all their evil come to fruition okay so so um basically as kathy grew up um she be, began getting what happened really was her father was not like a rich man. He wasn't that well connected in the beginning. He was actually involved in child pornography and he was a real creeper. He had abused all his children involved in child pornography. So he had been distributing child pornography in Michigan a long, long time ago. And um, the government had dirt on him and they knew that he was doing child pornography because some of them were buying it. So they had dirt on him and they were also appreciating his, product as sick as that sounds oh my so god basically, um yeah yeah so he he started pimping out his daughter to uh, like i said the, the the highest of the highest you know leaders um and eventually her main programmer is what they call them the people who really control the hypnosis when it comes down to the mind control um as a result of the trauma she's easily triggered so because she was r- raped as a child and abused her mind had been changed. And now that type of mindset is more susceptible to being mind controlled by MK ultra. So, you know, it starts off by just the trauma and it turns into where they could use harmonics or different key words or key sayings and bam, it triggers some part of her mind because her mind was so compartmentalized. And um, so she, they become useful for tools for these people. For example, um, when you experience that much trauma, your things change about you. Um, your eyesight improves. Okay. Really? Your hearing, your hearing improves, your senses improve. Um, you, you, you become narcoleptic. You stay awake longer. You be, you, you burn calories more than the average person. So you, you become superhuman in certain ways and it's by, not by choice just because you, you've been through so much. It changes you. Right. So, um, one of her things is you, or you also develop a photographic memory from anything related to the trauma so a traumatic experience followed by say a message that you want to deliver to another oh my god sometimes she would be raped tortured electrocuted and then they would tell her a spiel say okay we want you to take this to pablo escobar or whoever it may be and then you know you're going to service him and then you're going to give him this information have a couple cocktails and then we'll bring you back so this lady was like a high profile escort and so she kind of graduated as she went along and it had happened so much in her life that she learned to kind of accept it. So it, that was her. And, and so she even admits there was a part of me that enjoyed some of this luxurious um, events being with these higher people at the same time, she's being abused, electrocuted. And um, anyways, so I don't want the book, the book is long. There's a lot to it, okay. um, but a guy comes along who was involved in, um, mind control related products with the CIA and different government agencies. And his name was Mark Phillips. And once he realized how dark things were getting and how bad he pulled out and he realized there's a lot of people suffering who are losing their minds and they're, they're not free. They're, they're captivity in their own minds from the trauma they're, they're subject to. And so basically he wanted to rescue her. And so he, he, he basically saved her and her daughter and they moved up to Alaska Um, for years and up there he tried to reprogram her slowly because Mm. he he was experienced with mind control but he wanted to use it to get her away from being a slave and everything like that so basically through all these different tactics journaling talking um, bringing up all that trauma but in really like formal calm settings not like to try to bring it up but not let it get emotional is part of what cured her to the point of where she can actually speak about it um but god it was insane to hear all the details and uh, um there was a there was a governor um or a senator robert c bird i he might still be in congress i'm not sure or he might have just recently been outed i believe um yeah robert c bird it was a senator from fuck arkansas or some some state <laughs> right some midwest okay. state somewhere um but mm. he he was responsible for the most of the pimping and the grooming with the elites. Once she got with him, 
and, and, and he, this guy has ties to everyone. Um, like I said, Dick Cheney, George Bush, she, she listed not every single president, but a lot of presidents that I know about. And um, there's only been a handful of them since I've been on, you know, this planet. Um, so I was just blown away because it's, it's a pretty intense story, but I'm like, it's so detailed. It doesn't make sense that it would be a lie because what, where would you just produce all this information from and for what reason? Because you're not pinpointed it on any one person. It's just yeah. um, a topic, you know, so you, you know very, really very scary? believable. What's that? There's something really scary about this too, is that Robert C. Byrd, um, he's a senator from West Virginia and he's been doing it for 51 years. That's a long ass time to be like mind controlling people. Right. I, yeah, I really, yeah. I really want to kind of, kind of get where this started and why that scenario with Kathy makes sense to me. Right. right. Because right. when mm -hmm. you hear about a book like that and everything she's saying, you might think that's, that's crazy. Right. It's yeah. That's crazy. True. Like how, right. like but what? I want to like, talk about how this all got started and mm -hmm. how we know about it. Okay. okay. And cool. what we do know. Let's let's kind of go down the rabbit hole this way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. So the CIA, the MK Ultra, was a mind control program. Okay. It was to identify and develop drugs and procedures to be used in interrogations. Mind control, right? In 1953, it was started by CIA Director Alan Welsh Dulles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to talk about the state of where our country was with the Soviet Union, right? And at the time, LSD was becoming this real hip, cool man drug, right? Everyone wants to do a little LSD. Right. And the U.S. heard that the Soviet Union was all of a sudden, out of nowhere, pulling a lot of LSD, looking for a lot of LSD to bring into the country. They thought, oh my God, they're using LSD to do these experiments for mind control, right? Something that they were very interested in. And so the U.S. said, you know what? We're going to beat the Soviets in this. We're going to test LSD for mind control. We're going to find Soviet spies and use it on them. So again, here we are with the U.S. trying to beat the Soviets in something, right? Mm -hmm. They want to be first. Right. They want to be first. So for this program, they used LSD, chemicals, electroshock, hypnosis, yep. Yep. sensory deprivation, isolation, verbal and sexual abuse. <gasps> these, these were used at colleges, universities. <gasps> hospitals, prisons, and pharmaceutical companies. And a lot of the, the time, these places didn't know they were taking part in a CIA experiment. They had no idea, okay? Yes. So in uh, 1973, CIA Director Richard Helms ordered the files to be destroyed, okay? But then in 1977, the Freedom of Information Act happened, and we were able to see 20,000 documents from the MK Ultra program. And that's how we have a lot of the information that we have that says, oh, shit, they really did this. And oh, my God, this is what they did, because it mm -hmm. really is fucking crazy. So yeah. back in the day, the CIA after World War II, and this makes my stomach turn. Okay, the CIA, I I know where you're going. yes, had a secret recruitment of Nazi torturers to come and continue experiments on thousands of subjects. These Nazis were brought to Fort Detrick, Maryland to instruct CIA officers on the lethal use of sarin gas. And how do we know about this? Because it's in the paperwork, it's called Project. Paperclip, Operation. and that's how. <laughs> I see you holding the paperclip. I know exactly yeah. what that was. Can was I this touch where on they that wrapped? Really quick, Red. Was this yes. where they? Wait, yes. Where they? Here we they are. Wrapped, you guys. I, I learned a lot about Project Paperclip last night after I I watched my yes. Kathy O'Brien oh. interview. I I then watched a Joe Rogan interview on a lady oh. who wrote a book about Project Paperclip. That was yes. really interesting. So, so 
Project Paperclip, this is so great because it ties into what we've talked about uh, last week uh, about NASA and the moon and stuff. So we recruited some of some of Hitler's leading scientists and um, psychologists and mind control specialists, right? So we took, right after World War II, we found the best Nazis and said, hey, you want to come work for us? Yep. We'll pay you real good, right? Yep. So we, and, and, but like when you started listing academia, entertainment, all these different industries, we, they, we funneled them into all these industries. So one of the key ones, the, the, the founder of NASA is Werner von Braun. He was a Nazi. Yes. He was absolutely a Nazi. And yes. uh, so, it, yeah, to see that, it, it blows me away. That, it's crazy. You know, it, Nazi is like the, the worst word that we can say nowadays, but then we put them in the leading positions in our yeah. country and didn't think and it's twice in about paperwork. it. It's right there. It's right there saying that that's what we did. Yeah. So he's an guys, evil genius. He's an evil genius. We could use him on our side. Uh, so he's still evil though. Project Paperclip. I know I saw like in all my research and stuff, I saw a video where they, they brought all these like dudes into a room and they wrapped like material around their arms, like one of their arms, and then they put gas masks on them. Like whatever you do, do not take the gas mask off. And then some dude came in and like did like 20 droplets on this like fabric that was on their forearm. And then I guess whatever it was like dripped into their, um, their bloodstream. And they were like, it was LSD basically. And they were like yeah, hallucinating. Yeah. That wasn't, Paperclip, was it? No, Project Paperclip okay. was the project of getting recruiting. and recruiting Nazis oh, got you. to the U.S. to do certain things here. So I want to then go back to the Soviet Union, right? We wanted mind control. So if we found a Soviet Union spy, we could use mind control to get the information, right? That, that's what they really wanted to do. That, that, that was the whole, whole thing. And somebody that worked for the CIA, and we're about to go big here, was Frank Olson. Mm. Do you guys okay. know who Frank Olson is? Uh -huh. did you, what? I cannot no. believe Rock doesn't know this. Okay, did you see Wormwood on Netflix? I saw three episodes, and no. I was like, I had to shut it off, because I was so freaked out. Okay, so this is the story of Frank Olson. He was oh my in the God. CIA. He was developing biological weapons, right? It is said that his boss, or the director at that time, Sidney Gottlieb, was very concerned that Frank was going to spill the beans on a lot of the things that they were doing at the CIA, right? And they started, without Frank's knowledge, dosing him in very high doses of LSD for six days in a, in a hotel. Then they said that Frank jumped out of the window and committed suicide, right? That's right. what they said. They but said he the, jumped or fell, which was really like bleak no, in the whole no. realm right. of things. Right, right. Mm -hmm. The CIA said he jumped, right? They're, they, or the, the conspiracy people say, that he had um, things all over his body that looked like he had been beaten and killed and then thrown out the window, okay? Mm. So there's a big conspiracy over mm -hmm. all that because they felt like Frank was gonna, you know, expose a lot of CIA secrets, okay? And something I, I just thought was kind of insane here is that they did this, this LSD dosing, a lot of the other torture things to a lot of different people. And then the one I saw the most was on mental patients. Did you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah because they were, they're grabbing the easy picking fruit. They're finding people who are already yeah. kind of have an open door into that, you know, that part yeah. of their brain and they take advantage of it and exploit yeah. it. Yes. So they awful. use, they use the mentally ill, they use the prisoners, they use the sex workers and the drug addicts. So everybody that has some type of vice or something fucked up in their life where they yeah. wouldn't be like, what the fuck's more, happening yeah, to Give me. them some right. more psychotropic drugs mm -hmm. and see what right. happens. So exactly. I'm going to touch on each one of those places that this happened. Cool. So for the mentally ill, there was a patient 
and she checked herself in because oh, she, no. because she said, is. yes, she had <sighs> very mild depression, but mm -hmm. she was needing help. So she checked mm -hmm. herself in. By the time that she it was ever released, she couldn't even talk. She couldn't tie her shoes. She uh, couldn't use the restroom by herself anymore. And there was several different cases like this where, and I'll, I'll, let me pull up his name one second, by Donald Ewan Cameron, who is a huge contributor to MK Ultra experiments. And he was doing them on his own patients in this mental hospital, leaving people um, just destroyed. But vegetables, just, basically. Like vegetables. Yes. And two years ago, families started getting, uh, you know, compensated for what their loved one had been through, like $100,000, but they had to sign a non-disclosure agreement, which is fucking terrible, which is mm -hmm. just awful to me. Mm -hmm. Just awful. And a lot of these projects took place in Canada, which, God damn it, Canada, really? <laughs> Come on. Come on, eh? I'm surprised, eh? You know, eh? Hey. Right. Um, but one of the fun projects, <laughs> I'm going to say fun one I read about, uh, was done by George White, and he seems like a real class act, y'all. He once was quoted in saying, where else could a red-blooded American boy lie, kill, cheat, steal, rape, and pillage with the sanction and blessing of the all-highest? because he was in the CIA. And he ran real fun projects for MK Ultra, like Operation Midnight Climax. What the fuck what? is that? Oh, yes. That's gross. Yep. I didn't All hear right, that. Well, I, did learn, I did learn about that. I'm Ew, sure you did, what Rock. is that? I'm sure you did. I'll let you explain, because I, I, I can't bring it up. But yeah, it, 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 it was similar <laughs> to the name. Right. <laughs> gross. So climaxing. Um, there, they took prostitutes, they would get the John, get him to like a hotel room, they would dose the guys up, they would pull secrets from the guys or see what mind control they could do with them, and the CIA would watch, of course, like all, all the fun, fun times going on, and then George White would record everything and then go back and blackmail the men, you know, because he could. Mm -hmm. Right. What are, what are these men going to go back and that's, tell their wives? That's what was taking, yeah. it, it, it was <laughs> a was circle happening? of blackmail. Give me yeah, a, a circle break. of blackmail. Everybody keeping everybody quiet because they, you know, Bill Clinton knows that George Bush slept with the same woman and they, they're both gay. And, they, you know, it's like. <laughs> Hello, <what> the, <laughs> everyone knows. Not a secret. Uh, so then they also did these things, like I said, in prison. So mafia boss, Whitey Bulger, was actually one of them that came out. And he said when he was in prison, you know, he was approached to be part of this experiment. Again, some people knew they were. Some people didn't know they were, right? And he actually said that he would take part of it because they said that they would take time off of it. Right. Day, right. And he said it was fucking awful that... <gasps> They would give him all sorts of drugs, and it would look like the wall was, like, bleeding, oh. that the guy in front of him would all of a sudden turn into a skeleton in oh. front of him, and basically just, like, tortured, just mind-fucked all these, like, prisoners to be part of this experiment, and, you know, he's out now, but he has brain damage, and he says it's because of all of these experiments that they, they did on them, right? Which makes sense. I, I could see that, sure. Yeah, no problem. Um... So this all stopped, they said, in 1963, which I thought it was 1973. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they said that they stopped it in 1963. Files were destroyed later on in 1973. But mm, mm -hmm. Seymour Hirsch from the New York Times, he's the one that broke the story in 1974. And I... I, w I can't just imagine like Seymour Hirsch the morning of turning in all the information, knowing his story's going to go out, it's going to fucking hit, it's going to be huge, like how exciting that is, right? Yes. Like, all this shit and the CIA. And I, I just cannot believe the shit that we can actually see in these 20,000, you know, documents, like shit that they actually fucking did. Hypnosis. So 
read. Right? I, I saw like an interview with the dude, right? And, and I'm like, how is this guy fucking alive still? Like mind like, control. Oh my god! Like I'm like, dude, this guy like spilled the beans and he's like sitting and interviewing on TV. I'm like, oh god, the, don't don't walk that's, outside, that, guys. That's so important. Like, the, just what you said. There's a lot of guys out there who I'd love to follow into a fire, but I'm like, <laughs> if they were onto something, if they were onto something, they'd probably be dead right now, right? Yeah, um, probably. Sure. Why not? Know? Uh, yeah. So. Oh my God. This, so uh, Dre and I kind of brought this up too. And we were kind of like getting our minds blown, right? Right. Because yeah. we watched Unabomber. Did everyone watch mm -hmm. Unabomber? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh. Um, Hello. The Okla Oklahoma, right? Is Was it like a Oklahoma? Netflix show or what is it? Una Timothy Unabomber. McVeigh? No. Okay. I'm confused. Sorry. Uh, sorry. That's before that's my time, okay. ladies. Oh my God. Shut up. I was oh, a wee yeah. little one. Rock, we're the same age. Yeah, Rock, whatever. <laughs> I feel young. You I just have young. different priorities. I feel old. Okay, who is who, who is the Unabomber? I know who he is. You just got to refresh me. Sorry. The hood guy, like the hoodie. With yes, the, yes, the yeah. hood and the glasses. Right. But with who the, was with he? The, with the glasses? Yeah, with, the, so with the bomber Ted glasses. And the Oklahoma, yeah. like, building, like, the whole, like, building right. that he built. It's Ted uh, yeah. Kaczynski. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, he, that's just your crime of you talking, Red. But yeah, it all absolutely. ties that. It, it absolutely it's ties right. into MK Ultra. Let me tell you why. For sure. And, and we yes. know why. Because when he was in college, this guy, who I would assume is uh, has Asperger's, if we're all going to be honest, was mind fucked completely mind fucked. for oh, years yeah. by someone who was taking part, was part of the MK Ultra. Oh my experiment God. that's so fucking and scary this, this poor kid had no idea he was part of it and they just you know mind he's a genius right he's, he's a genius, a genius. yeah he yes harvard and then harvard mind fucked him yes like, I, can, I can see that, that. i can, I can not, see harvard mind fucking them like, yes had they not mind fucked him would he have become the uniform right this mm. is crazy dun, dun, dun. it is nuts it's it, amazing right crazy. so what ties into Kathy is they did a lot of fucked up things to people who had no idea that they were part of this experiment. They used sexual abuse, prostitution, uh, drugging, all sorts of things, right? To see what they lights, could get away and with. Also lights and also lights and like seizure mm -hmm. triggering activities. Yes. Real quick, did you hear guys hear anything about the Atari game that got yanked from the market? because it was triggering violent episodes and seizures what? and it disappeared. Yeah. It, there was an, it's an Atari called game. Poly it was like, Poly what? Poly it, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and, and then it was gone. And, say, and like, by the time <laughs> they, they could investigate it, they had pulled it and they're like, what video game? We don't even know what you're talking so about. So <laughs> kids were using this video game that popped out of nowhere at this place. And these kids were like having really fucked up dreams or were being like really disturbed after Night they were playing this. Yes. <gasps> and they said that men sat in the restaurant taking notes, taking data, like what was happening to these kids <gasps> playing this one game. And then it was yanked, and nobody ever saw it fucking ever again. It was like so late 80s it was in one our, of those like little things. Were taken off, right? Yep, yep. Absolutely. It was like in one of those things that you sat in the lobby while you waited, and you like sat and played it, like in the lobby yeah. area, like an arcade yeah. game. Like yeah, like arcade. no, like a, like an actual like an arcade when there's like a lot of right. them, you know, like ten to right. twenty machines. What it's funny fuck? when I was young, we, we used to go to Lampost Pizza. It used to be around, and there was. Um, it, it was a he said lamp pose. Okay, Remember now that? you're dating yourself. Now you're dating yourself. There you go. Like, hey, hey you're not lamp pose. Yeah. And then you bust the lamp pose, motherfucker. Okay, now you're. Well, old. it was it. You know, it was in the Lucky's shopping center. So there's <laughs> that too. <laughs> you said Lucky's. <laughs> Lucky's, which are now Albertsons. Come on. Yep, you got it. Yeah. But that was big. That was. Was big it for next me to Thrifties? That, like, that was kind of a social. <laughs> here arcade, like you could go into arcade but if there were some older kids in you take like you wouldn't dare step close to that machine if you weren't like if they were good you'd be like oh i'm good i don't need to play that one I'll just, absolutely like, i'm just, gonna you watch know, get a you sticky hand. i'm gonna cheer you on yeah yeah you'd be like hey those guys shit. are gone let's go play off-road racer again yeah those were the days 
<laughs> Dude, you guys, that's so crazy. But you know what's crazier is like, and I love video games, and I don't think Call of Duty is going to turn all of our kids into serial killers. But I no. think, I think it's bad. And um, that guts and the gore and 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 it's like they they say it's physically proven to it it increases your heart rate it increases your stress level it makes you angry and sad and happy um mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i think it can be harmless depending on the subject but um i do worry about that with I all the too. Think, with all the shootings going oh and yeah, i guess a lot of people say that al it along is. the lsd lines uh, yes with the psychotropic drugs um a lot of theories are that these shooters or you know these people acting out where all of them have a history of being on psychotropic drugs or um, you know Video games. being prescribed with ADHD and Ritalin and Adderall and things like that, and they're taken advantage of. So some theories are that they get mind controlled into actually committing these acts. So they're perpetrating them, but they were influenced by all these different ways from a higher power to create an event. They're like, hey, this kid's fucked up in the head. Yeah. Let's start pumping those high frequencies on his, you know radio tv whatever however they're doing it but um that's it's crazy you know so did you guys come across so they're saying that sandy hook so there's like a whole sidebar on sandy hook there's that whole conspiracy theory that sandy hook i'm not gonna actually, yeah so the, but they're saying they're linking sandy she said hook no she and said no <laughs> columbine no i've heard to, about it and i'll i'll lose my shit okay i know i will lose my shit too but they're saying that sandy hook and columbine were kind of linked into the um the whole mind control situation i don't i think that people are mind controlled to this day right i think the cia is super shady but i think that everybody is controlled by marketing by oh yeah Facebook, by social media right pharmaceuticals. We're getting the pharmaceuticals um the things that we eat preserved food um it's in our environment right it is yes we have all these things coming at us all the time. Mm -hmm. um, it it makes sense to me that people. It does, yeah. Be, and and sometimes some like some poor kid um, who can commit a terrible act, and in his mind, it, some for some reason it might have made sense. He has a chemical imbalance. Possibly, mm -hmm. it's scary to know as a result of him just living in America, getting fed all this shit, and now he's been triggered enough to go take his parents' guns and mow a bunch of kids down. And the reality is, is it, it is happening. And um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's a tangent, but the, that's why I'm like the gory video games. I think there should be kind of limits and like, you know, it's okay because the kids are playing and pretending they're killing bad guys, but like maybe just take <laughs> a little bit of the blood and guts out, you know, like just yeah, like you can so make explicit. it a little. Do your boys play? Yeah, they play, and then I hear them screaming and pounding and cussing, and it's like they're so into it, but then, like, on, like, an outside level, they're kind of, like, chill, you know? They're, like, whatever. That's, like, their video game time. Oh, so, yeah, they're so calm at the dinner yeah. table. Hey, what's up? Not much. You yeah. were just screaming like the world was ending, and now you don't have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Ten <laughs> seconds ago, ten seconds ago, my boy. Exactly. It, it, it sounded like the CIA was ripping my boy out of his room beyond being, and I, I heard exactly. pounding. Yes. He was punching the wall, and I'm like, it kind of sounds like I should be worried, but I think it's a video game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the it's benefit fine. of the doubt and He's say fine. it's a video game. He's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's everything's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to say that I use my control myself with my kids constantly. Well, Karen doesn't. Hey, Hello? you want to know something? You want to know some 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 sweet little information I got from this book? Um, something I thought was cool is this lady, Kathy O'Brien, she had been manipulated so much and she had learned so much about mind control because she was smart and in private school and they were doing it to her um, that she began to use it against some of her perpetrators in little ways like fucking with people. Yes. And I was like, that is yes, cool. Yes, bitch, you know? yes. Yeah. What are you going to do? What are yep. you going to do? Love it. Um, so I've always been in sales right? My entire adult life. That's what I do. And there's a lot of sales books out there. And there's one sales book that I read once. And it, it's basically how no matter what somebody says, this is how you control what they want or how to get them to get to go with whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. And this book was recommended to my husband. And did he read it right away? No. But I said, Oh, can I borrow your book to read it? And he said, No, this nice. is my book. And I said, 
okay. I got it on Audible. I finished it in two days and I was mind fucking him for a week before he <laughs> knew what I was doing because he didn't read the fucking book. Oh, uh, uh. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Whoop, whoop. You know what that is? We gotta know. We gotta mind control. That's mind bananas. Control. Oh my God. That's yeah, crazy. That's what, uh, Wait, can you give me some sales tactics? Is there anything like really sweet that you learned? Because I like to sell, sell some air conditioners myself. I'm not going to lie. Uh, well, why didn't you ask I, me to I, help you? Jesus I Christ. Sell, I sell with the tone of my voice. I could tell the person that I need to install four squirrels in their unit. There's a really good reason for it. And I could probably get them to do it <laughs> if, I, if, if I'm calm enough. I swear to God, like, I could, I could, you could. You're just a likable guy. You're just a likable yeah. guy. People just. Right. I don't know what it yeah. is. I just, I'm I not love threatening. It. I'm not my, threatening. My mom is all into you. Let me tell you. Well, my goal is to be, <laughs> my goal is to come across, like, I don't even get dressed up anymore. I'll dress down. I'll be like, I want to look humble and like kind of hungry, but like really <laughs> honest. So I'll be like, okay, slightly dirty jeans and um not always a button you know i'll kind of play it down like i'm the hard-working middle-class guy but then because um, that's what you are my friend you are. i am i am that's what you are hello it, um, well, I, it I'm worked on my mom let me tell you i'm gonna be a part of the illuminati you. yeah Aww, we all adore you rock um <laughs> <laughs> i think people just like you and that's why they use you and you do a good job that's it all done that's why all right well you can you give me some sales to tips later I, I always can. I It'll have zero. Really I have zero. Rip training. you out. Um, I, books, I'm just loving the fact that you mind fucked your husband for a week and he had no clue what the fuck you, you were doing. Thank yes, you. I know. I, I should it. win. I should win a wife <laughs> award. I I love to share that story with people. And then I told him what I was doing, and it blew his mind. Wow. It was so. I just, just want to see his face, like when oh, he realizes as he's reading the book. Holy shit, she's been doing this to me for a week. Are you kidding me? You know what? You want to know what's funny? It, me and, and, and the wife will have conspiracy battles, and she'll be telling me about some video she came across, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, babe, that's old news. You know, I have a, po I have a podcast. That's, and then, Keep like, up with me, with bitch. Us. Yeah. And then, and then, so, like, two days later, say, Dre share something on Facebook, and I'm like, well, look at this fucking video, and I'll, like, reshare it. And she's like, I was telling you about that for two weeks. <laughs> 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 and I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't listen. Why don't you, you listen, it. Rock? That's uh, right. Listen to the wifey. She, she's digging Nobody deep, and yeah, she's, she's getting some good stuff. She's got some people feeding her some good garbage, that, and I'm enjoying it. So you know. And what else you got to do when you're taking care of like the fam, and you're like stay at home mom? You learn. It's the time, you know. You're Come smart. On. You got to yeah. be smart. Yep. You got to be clever. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the great things about this story, too, is this book was given uh, by my brother-in-law, and I, he's married to my sister. It's a weird thing. So they gave me this, well, they gave him the book to read, right, because we're all in sales. He uh -huh. wasn't reading it. And so every day I was telling them how I was mind-fucking my hubby, hubby that day, just getting whatever I wanted, and how he had no clue because he didn't take the time to read a goddamn <laughs> book. That's okay. so awesome. Just share oh my with God. us what that book is, and I will audible the shit out of it, okay? Act, it's called <laughs> Never Split the Difference. Oh, All right. okay. Cool. All right, so you guys, you guys want to hear the one mind control thing that really pisses me off, but at the same yes. time, like, I kind of love it at the same time. It's really simple, and it's happening to all of us, okay? Red and yellow. How, do you guys know what that is? Like, the red and yellow food color? Red no. and yellow, red and yellow. <laughs> Like yellow no, five? That's not it. That's not it. No. No. So Ooh, the coloring. colors red and yellow together. They trigger Make orange. They trigger stimulation, appetite, and hunger. What? Oh, you know like what the arch. McDonald's, McDonald's. King, um, Wendy's. They use red and yellow in their advertising because the color stimulates hunger and appetite. That is making me so hungry while I think about it. I never knew that. And they're making you Weird. Hungry. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, the two yep. colors together. So if you think about like most of the fast food restaurants, they all have red and yellow in their advertising. So is advertisers and mind marketing, marketing the worst mind controllers, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Puppy dog so, pals. Something a lot of people <laughs> don't know, and this is really shady, 
is my hubby and I. We Every watch- time I watch Puppy Dog Pals, what happened? <laughs> you know, you see I'm a sorry. Dick, you see a I now. ruined it for you. I, I totally did. No, she's into it. She loves it. She watches it's it like, more. we're going to watch some porn now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So my husband and I worked at a movie theater together when we were in high school. Oh, so Aww. cute. But something they always told us Yay. to do, which is super fucked, is you keep all theaters really cold. Why? Because when people are cold, they want to eat more and they will buy more from the concession stands. Sorry, wow. I took that X-rated. I was thinking freezer aisle, but my bad. No. <laughs> no, Rock, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, so that's my fun story. It wasn't sexual at all, Rock. Oh, I just sorry. bring a sweater and then I'm all good. But that that's another way, right? We're being controlled in all different ways and we have no fucking clue. Or oh, maybe yeah, we yeah, do yeah. have I, a I clue. Think, I think maybe to this all... day the mainstream news channel two, four, seven, nine, Fox News, CNN, MSN. I think they're all trying to mind fuck us and like they think we're all stupid and we're just I like, am. yeah, tell I'm me like, more. Yes. And I just, oh, I'm mm. this, this past couple years, I've literally given up on, I don't even watch. I feel like what is the point in listening to a box of lies? Cause I think that's what it all is. Yeah. Or, you know, mind control lies and it's proven. They just repeat the same words. The, the most common form of mind control is repetition. Yes. You know, it's it's insane when you the the same word over in social distancing 45 million times eventually um it just has a place and it's in the dictionary and it's or, like, that wasn't I, even a word before that was no a, a bad thing socially distant sounds awful and now it's the most common term i can't stand it no no oh. i would say that the the most common term now is the new normal Every commercial yeah. you watch, that's true. The new, the normal. new normal, the new normal, and it drives my husband, yeah, fucking crazy, yeah, uh-huh. because we don't want this to be the new normal, yeah. And like I said, I feel like really this week I've hit like a limit, like you know, I'm about funny. to burst. I have a friend on social media who just did a quick rant, and he's like, you know, these damn flyovers, you send your fucking Air Force planes every time something happens, and he's like you know, people are losing their jobs, people are suffering, blah, 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 and you send over some blue angels and we're supposed to just like skip along. He's like, fuck your damn hair. <laughs> he was, he was oh pissed. God. And, he goes, oh, and no. don't even get, he goes, don't even get me started on those damn signs on the chain link fence. And then I, I hopped on board with him there and I'm like, you know, these signs, let's hold strong together. No, let's get our jobs back. Let's get people back to work. Let's fucking function. And um, yeah, well, that, anyways, that people are losing thought. their cool. Yeah, it's that was starting about to snowball. five weeks ago when they said it's only going to be for four weeks. And now it's they're saying six months. It's like, no. August now 31st, people are right? going cray cray, they- you know? Yeah. Jay, what did you hear? Did you hear until August? That's what I heard. Yeah, um, yeah the LA County, yeah. but 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 Santa Clarita fought back, or they didn't yeah. fight back, but they. they no, no, they, they wrote a letter. It. They, they wrote formally a letter. opposed it. Yeah, yeah I don't like, know what, uh, what the hell that means. Yeah. Um, no. Like the I've, mayor I've, said it. He said that it's affecting small businesses too much. That at some point, like, uh, we have to take you know, like, mental health into consideration, and like, the, our our small economy here in Santa Clarita versus like everybody is so far fine. So he wants to just get back to normal, you know, right? Whatever that. So they wrote a letter, yeah. right. right? They now. wrote a letter to LA County yeah. saying yeah. we don't want to be a part of this. We need to reopen. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I hit a limit. A lot of my friends, um, we're all just saying, let's leave the state. Let's just move the fuck away because oh, California is going to happen. It's going to spill over. It's going to spill over. They're going to push the. They're going to push the middle class, upper middle class, out of the state, and it's going to be rich and poor, and it's going to be Hunger Games, California. It might take a few decades till it's really bad, but it's going to get there quickly because we have the population to do it. All we need is the strife. It's not going to take decades. It it's might not, not. Yeah, you're right. It might be. It might. It's yeah. happening so kind of overnight as we people speak. aren't aren't okay now, right? Yeah. So think about three months from now, that or four months from now, when unemployment is gone and people are looking for a job, shit is going to get nasty. J.C. Yeah. Penney just signed bankruptcy today. You see yeah. that? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Bananas. Yeah. I, I, I really try to stay away from social media today. Retail's, from retail's just about gone. You know, yeah. I, 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 I think the future of retail is going to be all online. It's scary. I, I wanted to make a compilation the other day. I went for a jog at, at the park in the hills uh, where I went to elementary school. Who goes of, jogging? Rock. I got to escape. I got my to it's, that's my escape. Other than the podcast, jogging is kind of how I just let all this uh-uh, stuff go. No way, Rock. You have five other hobbies. I know yeah. you. That, that too. There's a few. You know what? We have to have back-to-back toddlers, it. and then we'll be jogging the fucking hills. You know? <laughs> I've, no, been, jogging, back, I've man. been jogging these same hills since I was about 18. Uh, same mm-hmm. spot, and I'm such a creature of habit. My wife wants to move someday, and I'm like, but then I can't jog in my hills. But anyways, oh, um, I wanted to take a picture and make like a really cryptic compilation, but I'm like, that's not really positive. You're not really sharing the love. But like my elementary school that I went to is engulfed in weeds, like in the school, in behind the gate, in front of the gate, the parking lot, it, oh. it's closed down. It's closed down, right? But um, the building has been basically abandoned. And it's, really? it's, you know, it's a, it's a whole modular series of buildings, like the modular mm-hmm. school. It's not the full buildings, but it's been abandoned. The weeds are six, seven feet tall. It looks like something out of a Terminator video. You see the weeds growing right. up in the playground. So that was scary. Then the basketball courts at the local park had a plywood sandwich bolted around the rim with the net gone. So physically you cannot play basketball or you could not get your ball to go in the hole because the the fucking city came and bolted plywood, and I was just like, "Man, this is so powerful." And then like, there was like a park yeah. bench with a sign. This park bench is closed. I'm like, "How the fuck do you close a park <laughs> bench? It was never yeah. open. It's a right. piece of cement, you know." Right. Um, oh, I, I, but I've been trying to fight the anger with peace, and like, look, I can't bring this to my kids because they're looking at me like, "Hey, Dad, what's next tonight?" They're happy, you know. Right. So I'm like, mm-hmm. I yeah. can't let it infiltrate my mind. I'm like, okay give it to me what do you got oh you're gonna close this you're gonna close this you're gonna fire my friend what's next how do we react all you can do is take it and then make the next step to make your life better because getting mad or angry about something that you can't change is all just a waste of your energy that's right right. i I completely agree with trying to channel it but it's tough i'm i'm right there with with you red and i'm angry i've had nights when i wanted to cry yeah for other people, I've had not a lot really of tears. myself, but just for the overall picture of watching yeah. people suffer, pisses me off, you know? Yeah. It's and, awful. Um, Let me tell you how bad it is, and this is going to blow everyone away. Take a moment. It's been so bad this week. It's been so bad this week for me and work and my husband and everything. My teenage daughter has been nice. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how you know. That's how you know when they're doing. She the dishes, went downstairs like, hey. and did the dishes without me asking. She moved oh, the laundry over. She cleaned the shit. fridge out. She brought home pie from work and she just said, "I thought maybe you would like this." What? I said, oh. "Are you pregnant?" I swear to God. <laughs> and she what said, a little oh. sweet pea. Yeah, she's like, "No, I just wanted to do this." It was like, "Oh man, oh, I know I'm her. rough." When she's picking up on it and trying to do nice. <laughs> Love her. I know. So that happened to me the other day. My 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 um my stepdaughter was doing the dishes and like feeding the kids and like just out and about hanging out with the kids in the Mm -hmm. living room and like, what do you need? You need a few bucks? You want to go somewhere? Is there a music festival? What do you want? And um, she's like, no. And I was like, well, thanks for helping out. Like, it was really nice of you. And I love um, her too. I love her so much. Yeah, she wound up going to a lake for the weekend, and I'm like, you know what? Do it. If you have someone inviting you to their lake house, yeah. they're your friend, you're all healthy, go have fun. We'll see you yeah. in four days. Love it. Because yeah. what, we don't know where the, this shit's going. Let's just have fun and make the best. Some people can't have fun right now. So if right. you can, yeah. do it. You know, that's where yeah. I'm at. I, so you guys, can we, can we go into the Timo craziness right now with the oh, NBA please. Ultra? Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. So there is a whole <laughs> subject on celebrities that are brainwashed and are part of the MK Ultra. And I have the breakdown on like all these fucking crazy like things that like, if you look it up on YouTube, you're like, what the fuck? So the first thing that I saw was Cardi B. Okay. So she's like came out like totally popular in 2008. Okay. She's like this new like like chicky like rap star. She's like half Latina, half black. She's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So she's okay. at the Grammys and we're all anticipating that she's going to like win all these fucking Grammys. Right. So she's on the red carpet and they're interviewing her and she's like doing her like she's not as crazy as she is now it was like kind of mellow she's like oh, she's kind of cute she's kind of cute crazy yeah. she, she knows she's, yeah. cute. she's kind of entertaining yeah. to listen to i'll give her that yeah and she does this weird like glare like she stops and she's like mm, like oh. and then like she comes <laughs> out of it and then she starts talking again and it's like what the fuck was that so at this point you're like oh okay number one she's just a weirdo number two is she fucking on drugs or is she you know on like is she drunk or number three she's mind controlled and she had a what they call a glitch in her programming okay so there's this whole controversy saying that she like there's all these celebrities are freaking brainwashed and they all are controlled by mk ultra well so we then, all are so okay Hello. so <laughs> um, so stranger things have you guys seen stranger things yes hello. Okay. the whole subject matter of 11 being created by scientists and being controlled by scientists right. is right. this whole background of mm -hmm. mk ultra which is so right. bananas and then uh so i dug a little deeper and supposedly the ancient egyptians were fully into mind control fully use coercive persuasion to get to do what they wanted to do. So maybe the pyramids that were built back in the day were all like mind controlled people. You know. I love know. it. Okay, so Rock, Aliens. Yes, so Rock told earlier, yeah. he said, did you see El Roker? Okay, so there's this thing where they're yeah. talking about, you know, like, oh, it's like school dance when we were in middle school and you had to keep the space between and then she's like yeah you had to save room for the holy ghost and right. then as soon as she says that oh, like yeah. El, yeah, el roker that el roker goes into this like and he's like 17 full seconds he's just sitting there like a freak right and, what do you and mean they're still <laughs> talking it, it, it appears it can't be edited that way right yes now. They they start going on talking about like there's a song about Elvis and Memphis and whatever and uh, there's El Roker off to the side. But what is he like doing? Like what oh, is he doing? doing? Like Staring off into the distance. Yeah, he's just like, like a freak. Yeah, brain dead. So yeah, instantly brain dead for a split second, and then do they, you remember you could that? Tell, you could tell they noticed because they're like you could see them looking out of their the peripheral. Joke. They're like something's wrong with Al. <laughs> uh, just keep keep going, you know, keep filling that, keep filling the time. It's weird. Yeah. It's really weird. I'm not gonna Did lie. Did you guys watch that that movie with the little like lizard Rango? No. Yes, I've seen that movie. I've seen the movie. No. Rango. You know the little. You it's was little. Like it's the littles yeah. red. We we are. Yeah. That's their side. No Rango that's with really. the lizard. But yeah. it's so yeah, funny. Not me. Yeah, I watched that. Go her curly little hair, and then like she'll be talking, and all of a sudden she's like, eh. and then she just yes. like stops, and then she's like, oh. Did I go away somewhere? Like, right. Mm -hmm. It's like hilarious. And yes, it's happening with these, like, they go away for a second and then they come yep. back. It's crazy. Yeah, okay. because like some, some hypnotic thing triggers yes. that, that. And they say they're glitches because their mind as a celebrity is trying to fight it. And so they have these glitches where they're like, uh, and then they go back into it. So, um, okay, so let me, let me bring up some other celebrities. So, in 2013, um, Roseanne Barr, we know with Roseanne Barr, she's like bananas. Yeah, Ro no. Roseanne. I don't know, know who she is. What? She has the pot farm in Hawaii and all no. that. So don't, she did an interview in 2013 where she basically said, um, uh, mind control rules Hollywood. And she basically admitted that everybody's being brainwashed. But like everybody thinks she's wacko and everybody thinks that she's on pot. She's smoking pot. She has her pot farm and she's a total wacko. But if you listen to her, it totally makes sense. It's so crazy. Well, what and if she just means that people are, are, you know, getting something that is not true, right? People perceive celebrities and movies and things like this a certain way, but that's just really not reality. Maybe that's what she meant. Possibly. Sure. But, yeah. So let me tell you about some other people. So Beyonce, they're saying that she's mind controlled. Don't you she talk was, about Queen Bay? 
they were at a, a, a Clippers game, her and her bae, um, you know. Emily. Oh, yeah, she got yeah. all demonic on that one, huh? <laughs> so yeah. they're sitting there, and the, and the camera's on them, right? About. The camera's on them, and they're I think they're on the big screen because Jay-Z's, like, looking up at himself, and she's just sitting there, like, swaying back and forth, and she does this for, like, a long time. She's just like, mm -hmm. There's no weird. music. Play yeah, it's really crazy. And then they're, okay, so now there's, like, the usual suspects of crazies that we know. So, are you talking about me? Red, I don't want you to get mad at me, but let's say Britney Rude. Spears. I know I'm sorry, but they're saying that the whole shaving of the hair situation had something to do with that. No, I think she was under a shit ton of pressure. Okay. I would do that for less pressure. Okay. What about Amanda Bynes? Because no, they're saying she's that. Mentally okay, she's mentally ill. Okay. Mentally ill. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go on to Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga was interviewed in 2009 on BBC, Jonathan <laughs> Ross. And so they're talking, this is like before she's like big time. So she's like still kind of like strange and we don't really know what, you know, what her deal is. And then like he's talking and then he's like, good Lord, and like off to the side. Like he didn't really like mean to say it. And as soon as he said that she does this, I'm putting my hand over one of my eyes. And they're saying that that is a, a sign of Lucifer. <laughs> so it's some type of mind control with Lucifer. I'm not sure what that's about, but that's crazy. That sounds like bullshit to me, honey. I'm just okay. knocking these out. Right. But I want you to see these on YouTube because they're bananas. And then there's another where she's in the BBC. She's on some type of event. And she's trying to get into a cab, I think it is. It's like one of those, like, British cabs, they have like the suicide doors and they're open and they're waiting for her to climb in. And she's doing like this, like weird, like, like, like she's doing like the robot, but she's like kind of like going in slow motion. And she's doing all these weird moves and she's slowly walking and walking and walking. It takes her like 15 minutes to get into this fucking cab where she's like three feet away from the door. And everyone's like, Gaga, Gaga, taking pictures of her. She's just like, mm, mm. Uh, like I just think that's just being eccentric because you I would do the though? same no, no. thing. Lady I would yeah, do the Gaga same has, thing. She's had, she's admitted that she was like basically uh, not abducted, but like seduced by this kind of evil Hollywood elite way of life, and that she's been trying to break free from it. She's she's on tape saying that. So I've seen interviews with her, like, oh, I, I was. And I don't know if it was really along the mind control, but she was mind fucked and she was, um, everyone you know, in Hollywood is mind fucked. Okay? They are. And there's the, the, the sexual crazy shit that goes on yes. behind the doors is normalized yes. for them. It's awful. Because think about it. Like, like I said, when you get to that level, you have the money, you have the cars, every, any, <laughs> any material thing you, you want, you can get. So yes. what's next? Creepy sexual stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's talk about Shaq, Shaq. Oh my God, because Shaq, we can tie him into the Tiger King because he actually went to Joe Exotic and bought. Oh tigers. yeah, I saw yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He does like that, you know, like where the guys sit on the panel and they talk about like the NBA and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, there's like three or four different times where the camera comes in and they're talking and he's just like, like sitting there like a, like a mannequin with this weird smile on his face for like, five to 10 minutes. I'm not lying. You guys need to check this out. It's so fucking weird. It's so mm. weird. Like they go to a clip and then they come back and he's still sitting there like a weirdo. It's so crazy. I don't know. See, things like this just make me think like I, I like kind of black out, you know, I kind of go somewhere else and have deep thoughts. Like somebody could have footage of me doing this. So part of me is like, that has nothing to do with. But Red, if you're also. live on camera where people are fucking watching you, like Yes. Why would you want to put that out where you're like, like you're making yeah. a show? There's lots of pauses. There's it's lots so of weird. No, down. it's all negative. No, it's I would so totally crazy. do that. No, oh I, I can. All right. I, that makes my, sense to me. Mind control, Red. Mind control. I feel like this happens to me on a daily basis. Yeah, like, I like, can't say mind control on this. This is normal. I'm, it's I'm not normal. Like, well, I'll let my doctor know that Timo said it wasn't normal. <laughs> like, for a few seconds. All right, girl, but like. For like 10 minutes straight yeah when you do a I show and you're sitting the there and you're waiting yeah you can you can zoom out 
Okay. Absolutely. Do you remember the whole crazy the uh, so we'll Wendy you. Williams? She did the Halloween episode. She was dressed like uh, the, the like Statue of Liberty. And she was like introducing mm -hmm. a guest and she's like, uh, uh, uh. and then like she does like this weird thing and then she like faints and like it like cuts off. They're saying that had something to do with it. I don't know. I'm she just, I, I'm just, kidding, I'm I just the messenger. She's a crazy bitch. I, I can't watch her every day because she comes on, she's sitting in her apartment quarantine and she is like a wackadoodle out there. Like, woo! I can't watch her, but yeah, there's, there's clips of Hillary Clinton acting like a freak. Bill Clinton acting like oh, a freak. Oh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Remember the one where she, she, Hillary Clinton, she walks into like an event. She's walking with yeah. Bill side yeah. by side and then they cheer for her and it triggers something and she does this and like i yeah. saw that i she's saw done that it multiple times yes, she's right. done she's that like, same like you gotta try this chai tea like it's like what the fuck <laughs> yeah 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um that i girl. heard and i don't i don't know this is just a rumor i heard uh, <laughs> that mark zuckerberg <gasps> yes Yes. Right. He never he never takes oh. off that hooded sweatshirt. He doesn't yeah. blink. He took it off. He I saw an he interview looks where like he a took reptile. it off. He looks reptilian. He does. Okay. okay. Got, he has those black beady eyes. The dude's scared. You know, I'm not gonna lie. you know who hates Mark Zuckerberg more than anybody else? My son. Yes. My son Why Bubba's lot. Like, he always blames everything, every, everything bad that happens. Mark Zuckerberg did it. He knows. He knows. Oh, we're gonna get along <laughs> he knows, Red. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw, this like, interview. Okay. I saw this interview with Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. I'm not kidding. He's just like casually talking. He's like, da 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 da. And he's like, you know, when I was human, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I am. Uh, yes. What? Yes. That's not yeah. mind control. That's just being a robot, dude. No, like yeah. there's something going on with him. And then he's uh, in an interview and he said, you know, and she's like, you know, all the girls just love you and they want you to take off the hoodie. When you take off the hoodie, and he's like, I never take off the hoodie. I never. He started, the oh, he started sweating. He got, yes. he, his hands got all clammy. Yes. Yeah. You know what? He, and then okay. he says, he's okay, maybe, maybe I'll take off the hoodie. So he takes off the hoodie and then he's like, yeah, so we have our, our uh, I don't know, our company motto or whatever on the inside of the hoodie. Yeah. And they turn it around and it's this weird like symbol. Symbol kind of thing. And it says like whatever. And then the um very occultish. The, the host goes, Oh, it looks like a cult. Is that is that the sign of the Illuminati? It's yes. bananas, you guys. Oh, really? I yes. You know what? I, I think I think Zuckerberg has already been mind fucked. He built this platform. He's a smart dude. He's rich as hell, and then he's been groomed into this elite circle because his platform is now the government's platform. I'm pretty sure it's already in government control, but maybe on the books it's still in his name, and he's getting a big check. But hey, that flat, so that platform, mode it be, so mode it be, so mode it be, yep. So mode it be. Facebook mm -hmm. is in our world. Yeah, mm -hmm. they know everything mm -hmm. about us. Mm -hmm. Another person, you know, uh, my former boss, Elon Musk. Uh, oh Jesus. I, He's oh, he's, is he he's leaving California? Is he leaving California? No, I don't work hear? for him anymore. He's a, he's a heartless fuck. I hope he does. And Got his it. baby's name is E-I-E-I-O-Y-O-Y. Yeah, yeah, what, what? Wait, his kid is a Star Wars character? Yeah, his, his kid's name <laughs> is just a bunch of letters and numbers. C three PO, <laughs> and they won't yeah. legally let him name that, so now he has to well, rename it. Yeah, he does look like an oh, alien, man. and you know what he said? He's oh, on well, record. He, he acts like a robot, and he treats his employees without a heart. There, on I love record, that. Says, I love Red. That you record, know that. I love that. He said on record that AI is going to be the end of our civilization. Meanwhile, yeah, he's hoping. He has he's a excited. He's meanwhile, excited he has a company it. investing all their money in AI, and I'm just like. He's all about it. He loves it. Yeah. Well, I got the nasty emails from Elon while working for him, so he can go fuck himself. So if he's, he's all into it, like, well, is he going to be like implanted or like, like you're going to peace out too, dude, right? Right. You know what? I don't. I don't get why we have people like Elon Musk and Bill Gates 
who like Elon Musk and Bill Gates are both putting satellites in the atmosphere. They're both funding satellite operations. I'm like, okay, he was just a computer guy. And then I just heard, which really this scared me because, um, Senator Lindsey Graham, you guys have heard him. He's a pretty, he's a pretty common name, right? Um, he's on record saying Mm -hmm. that, um, the, the only way or or is if bill gates is responsible for getting it put together basically and here's another thing the the vaccine they're talking about like the patent for it i don't know if this is a rumor yet so we might have to get this fact checked but the name of the vaccine is like hb6666 it's like four sixes and i'm just like how ironic i don't know if it's true but it's all over the internet that that this the label for this vaccine has three sixes in it and i'm like that's crazy because that maybe they're just doing it is it four or three i i I read four today but four is still three then if it was three then we would be in trouble four is three because you have three it's in it right exactly right three six and nine that that's the secret to the universe according to nikola tesla right oh that's a tesla fun fact fun fact just to let y'all know uh elon musk did not start tesla okay he did not start these companies any of them he was an investor in these companies i hate how everyone's like he's so smart he thought it is and he started this company no he didn't he was an investor in tesla did he start spit no he didn't he's a fucking investor that's what he is that's what elon musk is and he loves to get rid of people i hate the guy i fucking hate him I hate how people talk about how great he is. He's such a piece of shit. Oh my He's kind of creepy too. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. But have you heard him in interviews? He's a robot. <laughs> you remember? Okay, hold on, real quick. Conspiracy, fun conspiracy. You asked for a fun one. Here's the good one. Do you remember okay. when he released the Tesla Roadster into space with the spaceman plane? I worked for him at the time. Two thousand <laughs> playing two thousand and one Space Odyssey on the radio by David yeah. Bowie. That's right. I call bullshit from from day one. I was like, "There's no mm-hmm. fucking way I can't even leave my trash can on the street on a Thursday." But he mm-hmm. can send a Porsche or whatever into space to float around. <laughs> what the hell? They called what? all of us employees to come in and watch it happen, and we're all like clapping and cheering for him. Um, I don't and I it. and I was like, "This is the biggest waste of goddamn oh time and God. money I've ever seen in my life." Can I go back and then to he- work? He's on the he's on news he's on the news he's on like Fox News being interviewed and he goes yeah the funny thing about that that roadster he's like it looks fake huh and the guy's like oh what he's like well it looks fake because it's real that's how you know it's real is because it looks fake that's what oh he said God. and I'm like well I, I know I'm not, I, I, lots I, don't buy of fun, I have lots of fun secrets I'll tell you off the podcast about <laughs> fake things he had do you guys think that do you think he put that in do you think he put a car into space and floating around on, on without any repercussions? I can't even litter. And that's he can throw dumb. a roadster in space? That's so I, I don't believe it. That's dumb. That's dumb. Well, um, my, my husband also, and I did have to sign something saying we wouldn't oh, shit about oh shit. Oh god. Does that still apply? Does your NDA still apply? Well, apparently I, I'm having wine, so I'll tell you um, all off the so, podcast. <laughs> In a previous episode, like way back in the day, Red does talk about like this weirdo dude that did come on the lot to her at the Tesla place. And well, it's when I so wrote crazy, it, yeah. scary down there in yeah. Culver City, like near Culver City, or no? No, no. When I was working for the company, um, I was in a store and a guy came in and he out of nowhere was telling me about things that he had done to women um like how nobody's ever gonna find these women (laughs) and he had his hands on my table and his nails were long and yellow and gross right vampire nails yes just a disgusting person and i just said oh well i'm off the clock like pulled up all my shit like hid somewhere and then waited for him to leave. The cops came. I got the manager. I was crying. And they waited all this time. And then they got an escort for me to walk out to my car. And who the fuck was waiting in the parking lot but this piece of shit? He was waiting for me. And oh, had been, yellow nails. Yes, yellow nails yeah. was waiting for me. And it was and her fucking birthday. It was my birthday. It was were my they birthday. Those, the, were they those thick horse nails that some people yes. have? And you're like, how do they get to that point? Yes. And then, uh, don't fuck with red because red was so smart she asked for this guy's address and saved it 
uh, when all this nice. shit was happening. So fuck that guy. I what a piece of shit. That was a terrifying night. I cried the whole way home. And then I got home and my husband's like, it's okay. I have a cake for you. I'm like, oh, I don't smell the cake. He's like, oh, shit, I didn't turn on the oven. It was a whole <laughs> And then what was your present that you could have used that day? Mace. Pepper spray. She got, she got Pepper mace. Spray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been nice to have that day. I'm glad I had the escort. He, he really saved me that day. Uh, any anytime anyone feels threatened, you do a buddy system. Don't ever go somewhere without right. someone with you, especially the the ladies. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling Rock can handle I, himself. I got a few buddies: reason and persuasion. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> love you remember that, that from Shrek? No, I think that was Shrek. Oh my, it was Shrek. I, I yeah. loved oh it, and God. I don't know that it was from Shrek. Oh my God! All right, well, this was a good episode. Yay! So good. So good. Yay! Yes. Mind control, what I do to my husband on the daily. Hey, so, uh, when be, we were before, talking before you about... cut it out, oh. I just had a quick piece of information I learned on Joe Rogan last night. The, um, the Nazis from Operation Paperclip and kind of Hitler's elite circle of, yeah. of creep, creep bags, yeah. they had this thing um, that they did back in the day. They, th those rich people were doing a lot of fencing practice, you know, the sword fighting. And the cool thing to do was get slashed on your face but not not like killed but like a good slash on your cheek right the cool then, thing like to get a tattoo <laughs> yeah like like a tattoo right and then what they would do is actually Yikes. like take like they would take horse hair and different things and shove it in the cut to irritate it so it would what? get nasty and infect it and then they'd have some big nasty ugly scar and it was like yeah i'm a fencer how about you what you got any scar like comparing scars that was a popular thing if you if you uh search it there's a lot oh. of these high up Nazis no, not hot. Gross. glamour shots with big slashes all over their face. I dumb. learned all about it last night. It was kind of crazy. That's, that's disgusting. Dumb. And I love that you shared that. Thank you. Yeah, that's really You're dumb. welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to do that, but that's a good story. And I like yeah. it. Yeah. You don't do fencing? Not lately. No, not much. Or uh, um, ever. <laughs> okay. It, it just, Yay! It, it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the odds, you know, like the back and forth is good. But when someone goes for the stab, it's all over. And then what do you do? You know, you yeah, just die. It's actually so I don't know. pretty fucking lame, honestly. It's really stupid. <laughs> yeah. There, they I like said bend. it. They have like a ball at the end. So like it hits yeah. you well, and then it like yeah. bends. Yeah. yeah. But I hit it like the... on the side so that like it cuts your head off. But not I if you're a Nazi, but then you have to use a real sword. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not a Nazi. Okay, y'all. Everyone yeah, check us know. out. Leave a review on iTunes. Check out the YouTube channel. Yay! So yeah, excited. they're all out on YouTube Yay. now. Uh, Dre's going to help me out. Dre figured out how to do our previous episodes. So we're going to yes. go back in time and, and issue all those. But I've issued all our, like, every single down the rabbit hole episode i think is on youtube now so give us a listen but you know what we would love it if you'd go on itunes and like give us a review mm -hmm. subscribe to us tell us what you what you like tell us what you don't like we'll kick it off we love it yes yeah thank you everybody for listening and the messages always uh itunes reviews are amazing check us out on instagram facebook twitter uh, email us at handcuffsandsage at gmail.com, our website, handcuffsandsagepodcast.com. And, and then Patreon. Fun. I really needed this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we, re are we ready? Are we ready? Are, are we ready? ready? Are we ready? ready? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. We, we have, have questions. questions. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Awesome. All right, bye. Love bye, you guys. guys. Have a great bye. night. Bye. 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 Handcuffs and Sage is hosted by Red, Timo, and Dre in a shitty guest room in Los Angeles. Theme music is Leave Now by We Are Wasted. Cover art done by Megan Winchester. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Show us some love on iTunes. Be a badass and do what you want. Until next time.